is Hex18. How's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you uh, what a man in the middle attack is, and I'm going to explain it to you with some examples. As you can see, I got uh, some photos here, you know, some examples of pictures so, that I made here. Um, so, what is a man in the middle attack? Um, it really is an attack form of eavesdropping of which the attacker makes one or more connections with the victim. The attacker sends the relay messages back and forth, making the victim believe it's a legitimate private connection. So, when in fact it's actually controlled by the attacker. The attacker is able to intercept all messages or information that's going between the two and injects into new ones that are joining the network. Um, unencrypted Wi-Fi networks or wireless access points pose one of the highest threats of a man in middle attack as well as you know uh, business companies that have compromised systems that were you know uh, an attackers may be able to go through that system to do a man in middle attack on other systems so um, in which I'll probably discuss in other future videos of other attacks that can be used under the uh, unencrypted networks. So, okay, so here we have an example. Suppose we have we have three computers here. We have Kate, and we have Emily, and an attacker. I just made these up, okay? So just bear with me here. So we have two users, and then the one attacker. Each one, each one has their own host name that's identifying, you know, one another. So one user who wants to communicate with the other machine, okay, which would be K. Let's say uh, K is asking Emily for information or wants to share. Hey, could you send me, you know, uh, an email of so and so? party or you know can you send me an invitation for this or you know share me even pictures photos music whatever anything that's information wise or media related so um then while they're you know communicating back and forth kate sends one uh or sits in sends a uh you know an email saying hey could you uh go ahead and send me the your uh, information over so Emily says well sure I can go ahead and send that send that and then that's when the attacker takes control of or not takes control of but intercepts sorry intercepts that that conversation right there so um, the eavesdrops right on there so the attacker can see what's going on there you know can read the, the packets that are going through um, if they're not, you know, encrypted, or it depends on what tools that attacker is using. So, once they're, you know, there's a conversation going and the attacker is listening, then, you know, you, you would think, you know, they would be using some type of SSL or, you know, SSH, something that's secure. Well, there's tools out there now that can. Uh, get past that kind of stuff now so um, another example would be a website with a login so let's say the user is on a regular network so let's say on a home network and it's unsecured it's wireless okay on the wireless right here let's say it's wireless okay so um, the router is wireless and there's an attacker he's connected to the router maybe a neighbor who knows maybe it's a war driver uh, just just parked outside the house or somewhere the apartment area and the users surfing the internet okay let's say Facebook or something so the server here is Facebook so the user sends the information or gets the site from the internet or you know the website connected to the server and the user says oh it's Facebook so the website's asking the user, okay, prompt me your user or your email and your password, and then that user sends it, but instead gets intercepted by the attacker. That's a man in the middle attack. The information can can be can be sent still to the website, but the attacker still got that information and can be, still use that, 
you know, against the user, whether it's, you know, once log into that person's Facebook or whatever email account, whatever that site is. So um, that's what would be a man in middle tech. Completely different aspect of which, an, you know, an art poisoning is. You know, and the art poisoning uh, grabs all the information of public keys, so of that that user information that's being sent over the protocols. So, um, what can you do against this stuff? What can you prevent from such an attack? If someone were on you, you know, that you would think you'd be safe? Well, you want a stronger uh, authentication, such as, you know, a secret key, a password, or even a better encryption, if you can. Uh, join only the encrypted wi wireless networks that you know that are you know secured if you know you're on a public one or an unsecured one which I believe I've said this before don't connect to it unless you know you're gonna be secure or you feel comfortable doing it so um, you know use those VPNs use you know I know proxies aren't the greatest but and I wouldn't suggest signing into anything on a proxy but if you can get hold of yourself with a, a great VPN network or something that you can use to sign through that's that's really secure go with that make sure everything's verified that you trust um, so um, if it's SSH SSO like I said some of that's not really secure anymore I mean SSO has gotten a little bit better it's gotten to 3.0 now um, but I mean just you know be careful make sure you got the security that's all I can ask uh, you know all I can say make sure everything's encrypted use the HTTPS everything that you can that's how you can prevent yourself also if you're a network administrator or a system administrator uh, the great thing you could do is monitor or capture those net the network traffic that's going through your network so if you have a home server or you know something you know like snort the, tr the tool snort is great so you could actually monitor or capture that network traffic leaving the important evidence back so that you can analyze what has been going on that net on the network so you can grab IP addresses DNS names certificates you know trusted uh, keys everything like that um, that would be a great thing to do and snort is the tool for that I believe I believe there's many other ones you could use but if you want something that's free and open source go with snort uh, I might even make a video on that in the future as well uh, the most common tools or methods attackers would use in this particular method or an attack. Uh, DSNF is a good tool, uh, actually used for SSH and SSL MITM attacks, so the man in the middle attacks. Um, SSH, SSL, you know, may no, no longer secure you against M the uh, man in the middle attack, just depends what is going on. Um, can enable. Uh, can enable is a, a Windows GUI tool, a graphical user interface tool that performs the man in the middle attacks along with sniffing in the art poisoning. A very popular tool. Uh, a lot of, uh, I know they say it's a script kitty tool and everything, but hey, it works. It's a method to grab information. Uh, anyone can use it. You know, it's that easy. Uh, Ettercat, a great tool for land based uh, man in the middle attacks. Uh, Ettercap, I've actually used in the previous video before. I've shown tutorials on that. Uh, I really like Ettercap. It has tons of configuration configurations that you can use to customize. Uh, Karma, you guys might have heard Karma. It's a tool that, used, that uses the wireless spectrum of the 802.11 uh, based man in the middle of text it sets up rogue access points you you can do a lot with that and metasploit um, airjack is a tool that's also demonstrated with 802.11 based uh, man in the middle of text uh, I've never actually used airjack but it was something that was mentioned uh, that I should put on the video as well um, SSL strip and SSL sniff. Both of them are tools for SSL based 
uh, made in middle attacks. SSL sniff was really main, mainly used for the uh, exploiting the flaw in the Internet Explorer browsing browser. Uh, Mallory is a tool for 802.11 HTTP and HTTP uh, HTTPS, sorry, based on man in the middle attacks. So also, if you didn't know this, there is also card readers out there, very scary, that uh, intercepts your key presses on ATMs. So definitely not cool, and that would be a big reason why I don't use ATMs anymore. So um, you just really never feel secure anymore. But go ahead, you know, let me know what you guys think of the explanation. I tried to get you guys uh, a Pictionary, you know, going on here so you guys can uh, view that or get a good, uh, good enough detail and per, uh, perspective view of what it's like for a man in the middle attack um, so if you have any questions or you know anything let me know in the comments or message me uh, thanks guys I appreciate it take care